Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakwadash. That that is all praise to the Heavenly Father Yahweh in the name of His Son Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth, and I would like to say a sincere shalom unto the the sincere Akim throughout the four winds of the world, unto the servants, the prophets that are laboring, prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine. Unto you, I say shalom. You can't go straight to the Most High, all right, and that's what a lot of Israelites. Um, even not Israelites, not even in the truth, think that they can just go straight to the most high. They can talk to God. God knows my heart. The most high is not dealing with Israel right now. OK, the most high has always had mediators between the nation of Israel and himself. OK, he, he's not dealing directly with us. OK, and the mediators of mediator is our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, who who our Lord appointed. Uh, authority over everything, over judgment, over everything. You have to go through the sun to get to the most high. But a lot of Israelite groups out there are teaching this, that it's the most high, a most high alone. The most high is not dealing directly with Israel. And, and it's Jake's out there that, you know, that, those that know, but it's a lot of Israelites out there that don't know that, 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 that still call on all praise to the most high. Yeah. All praise to the most high in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, who is the mediator. Your prayers don't go to the most high without going through his son, okay? So you you saying all pray, all you Jakes out there that say all praise to the most high, the most high not hearing you. All right? You got to go through his son, okay? Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai in the name okay, Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. You got to go through the son and everything has an order. And that's what a lot of Jakes don't they have a problem with. They have a problem with order. All right? Hey, the, the why wouldn't the most high have a a, a strict order? All right. If if, if everything else has a, a, a certain order in the most high of heaven and heaven and earth don't got an order or right, this is the order right here. This is first Corinthians 11 and three. But I would have, you know, that the head of every man is Hamashiach and the head of the woman is the man and the head of Hamashiach. Yahweh Shai is the most high. This is an order. You got the most high. OK, his son. And you have man, Israelite man. All right, then you have the woman. Everything is in the order. Okay? The woman can't get to the, the, the Yahweh Shai without her man. The Yahweh Shai can't, excuse me, and the man can't get to the Most High th throughout Yahweh Shai. All right? It's like if you work at a job somewhere, you work for a corporation, if something's wrong, if, if you're missing hours on your check, you don't go straight to the CEO. You go to, use certain avenues, you go to your manager, your supervisor. Okay? It's just, this is like this. All right? You don't go straight to the Most High. All right, because like I said, the Most High is not dealing with Jake right now. Okay, that's why that that's why Yahweh Shai is the bridegroom that's going to marry Israel back to the Most High. Okay, if you you know, if you, I mean, I'm gonna get these scriptures to break this down because Jake has a problem with order. Jake has a serious problem with order, and this is the this is the righteous order. This is the the proper order how things should be done. This is First um, Corinthians 14 and verse 40. Let all things be done decently and in order. It's an order about everything, okay? And, and Yahweh Shah, he's he he is that mediator, okay? We can't get through the Father without Him, all right? You got to you got to reference uh, 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 um, Yahweh Shah, okay? This is First Timothy chapter two, and I'm gonna read verse uh, five and six. For there is one power, one. Most high and one mediator between the most high and men, the man, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. I could end the lesson right there. There's one mediator. All right. There's one middleman. OK. Who gave himself a gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. All right. And that's all is Israel. OK. And, and, and these 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 niggas, they don't they don't. And they don't reverence Yahweh Shai, all right? They 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 just these these Old Testament Israelites only, and Yahweh Shai is all throughout the Old Testament. Yahweh Shai is in the whole book, all right? Hey, like the scripture says, hey, the, the hey, you don't got the scriptures without Yahweh Shai. This is John one and one. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with the Most High, and the Word was then the Word was power. The same begin the, the same 
was in the beginning with the Most High. That's talking about Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the word. The word is capitalized, all right? Uh, 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 capital W, all right? That's talking about Yahweh Shai. All things were made by him and without him, and without him was nothing, was not anything made that was made, right? Uh, let me jump to John 17. Because there was a time when, when, you know, when we were under the first covenant, where the Most High was fed up with Jake, all right. That's why he. That's why he. He said he wouldn't smell your solemn assemblies, all right. He didn't. He was tired of your your um your uh, uh your sacrifices because Jake was full of shit, all right. But like I said, there was always been a mediator, all right. That the, the someone a middleman for Israel and the Most High. You had Moses. You had Joshua. You had all the prophets. The prophets were the middleman. The prophets are the middleman for uh, to speak. Really to Yahweh Shai and Yahweh Shai unto the Most High now, okay? But hey, our people, the majority of them, they don't want to deal with the prophets. They want to act. They act like they they, they got a relationship with God and God knows their heart. Yeah, God, the Most High does know know you niggas' heart. And you, a lot of you niggas is wicked and you ain't sincere, okay? This is uh, First John chapter. Excuse me, First John, uh, John seventeen and two. As thou, as thou has given him power over all over all flesh, that he should give eternal life. To as many as thou hast given him. And this is life eternal that they might know thee that only the only true power whom Yahweh Shai Mashiach, whom thou hast sent. All right, Yahweh Shai, excuse me, the Most High sent his son to be that mediator, to be that sacrifice for Israel. Okay? So, hey, really to, to, to save Israel, because if we were under the old covenant, we'd be all be put to death. Okay? We all we all have committed sin unto death. That's what Jake don't realize. That's why we need the, we we need Yahweh Shai. Okay, without Yahweh Shai, we're through. We're dead. All right, the Most High is going to destroy us. The Most High, but that Yahweh Shai it, is that sacrifice. He is um, that, that is the Most High showing mercy unto Jake. All right, what does Jake do with that mercy? All right, they turn their back on it. All right, they don't reverence Yahweh Shai. Okay, um, let me see. It's the book of Hebrews, chapter uh, 12 and verse uh, 24. Uh, I'll read 23. To the general assembly and church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and to the, the Most High, the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect, and to Yahweh Shai, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the sprinkle, the blood of the sprinkling that speaketh better things than that of Abel, all right? The mediator of the new covenant. The new covenant is when the Israelites are going to have, all right, the, the law, statutes, and commandments written in us, all right? So we'll never sin, all right? But Yahweh Shai is that mediator, all right? This is um, uh, Hebrews 8. Um, let me see. I'll just start at uh, verse eight for finding fault with them. He saith, behold, the days come and saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. And who and, and who was in that chariot? All right. Who was that pillar of light? All right. That was your was shy. OK, he's always been there. So to, to, to so these bird brain ass Israelites that teach that don't teach you how shy, they don't know the scriptures as like how shy say you, you err not knowing the scriptures. All right. Um, because they continue not in my covenant and I regarded them not save the Lord, the Lord, hey, the Lord stopped dealing with Jake. OK, for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel in those days, save the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind and write them into their hearts and I will be unto them a power and they shall be to me a people. We're going to be, we're going to be Yasharala again. We're going to be the most highest people, but we have to be married back unto the Lord through the bridegroom, which is Yahweh Shai. And he shall not, and, and they shall not teach every man, his neighbor and every man, his brother saying, know the Lord for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. Let me see if I missed something. Um, actually, I should have started up right here. Verse six. 
but now hath he ad obtained a more excellent ministry by how much he by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant. Who's the mediator of a better covenant? All right, that, that's that's simple. That's Yahweh Shai, which is established upon better promises. What are the better promises? The better promises are that we're never going to sin again. We're never going to go off. All right, that we're going to we're always uh, 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 we're we're going to um, we're going to rule and reign forever because as long as we sin. The Most High is not dealing with us. As long as we were, were in sin, as long as we went off, as long as we um, uh, uh, worship false idols, all right, the Most High wasn't dealing with us, all right? But this new covenant, all right, um, established on better promises, it, it, it puts the it puts the law, statutes, and commandments in our inward parts so Israel will never fall because we'll never sin. For the fourth, that first covenant had been fallen, then there should be no place have been sought for the second. Okay, that's the point. Um, let me jump back to uh, the book of John, chapter 5. Um, this is John 5 and verse 26. Let me see. Yeah, 20. I'll start at 25. Uh, verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour cometh now, and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of the Most High, and they shall live. And that's we're living in those times where the, uh, the Lord is speaking through his prophets. All right. And um, you're hearing this. You're hearing the voice of Yahweh Shai through the prophets. OK. And they shall hear. Then they and they that hear shall live. And those are those dead bodies spoken of the, those uh, those dry bones spoken of in the book of Ezekiel, the 37th chapter. All right. We're, we're, we're standing on our feet. We're living. We have we, we the, uh, the the most high through his son has breathed that life. All right, into us. All right, for as the Father have life in Himself, so have He given to the Son to have life in Himself, and have given Him authority to execute judgment. Also, because He is the Son of Man. Okay, He has given Him authority. That He's given Him authority to execute judgment and everything else. Okay, the only thing Yahweh Shai don't got control of is when He's going to be sent back. All right, everything else He has control of. All right. He has given his son authority to execute judgment, to do, do, do basically do whatever. But Yahweh Shai don't know when he's going to when he's going to return. Only the father and only the most high does. OK. You see. Um, God, I wanted to get that, too. Um, um, let me grab this Deuteronomy 40, 49. Oh, excuse me. Deuteronomy, Genesis 49, Salakia. Genesis 49 and 10. Um, actually, mm, yeah, I started at 10. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet, until Shiloh come, and unto him shall be the gathering of the people of the people be. In Shiloh is Yahweh Shai. All right, which means, um, shit, let me look at it. I think it means, um, damn, it goes into, um, I want to say peace. I'll just look it up. Bear with me. Um, Shiloh. Uh, tranquility. Okay. Um, tranquility, rest. Uh, let me see. Bear with me. A derivative of a verb one. Let me see. Yeah, it means tranquility, uh, 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 meaning peace. And Yahweh Shai is the Prince of Peace. Okay. Let me jump back. Binding his 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 fowl unto the vine, and his ass as his coat unto the choice vine. He washed his garment in wine, and his cloths in the blood of grapes. His eyes shall be red with wine and his teeth white with milk. And that go, that's a direct precept for um, Revelations, the uh, first chapter. OK. Um, uh, Revelations one and. Um, uh, well, I'll start right here. One fourteen, his head and his hairs were white like wool and his as white as snow and his eyes were a flame of fire and his feet like unto brass and they burned in the furnace in his voice as the sound of many waters. That's speaking of Yahweh Shai. All right. 
So you Jake's out there, you better get that out your mind thinking that you can go straight to the most high. No, you have to reverence, you have to go through his son. Like I said, he's always been a mediator. Moses was a mediator. Joshua, okay, the prophet. Samuel was a mediator, okay? There's always been a mediator between Israel and the most high, okay? Because when that, that one time when the people bucked up against Moses and talked shit and they said they wanted to speak to the most high, what happened? Even before the Most High could utter anything out of his mouth, all right, the lightning and thunder shook the people up so bad they, they didn't want to they didn't want to speak to the Most High anymore. They said they'd rather talk, talk to Moses, okay? And and hey, we're living in the time where the people are going to seek the Most High, but in order to seek the Most High, you got to go through His Son, okay? So it's hey, this is not you know to do Jake's out there that 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 reverence Yahweh Shai. This ain't for you, but it's those Jake's out there that those. Uh, Hard-headed niggas that think that you can go straight to the most side, most side alone. Hey, you better get with the program, or you're gonna, hey, you're gonna uh, uh, be made an example like the rap the dude, rap the news was. Okay, so Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Until next time, I say Shalom.